the phenomenon of ghosts and phantoms. A question from a colleague. During the big festivities, all those who were stuck somewhere in a limbo are removed from there. But what about the ghosts who stayed in some old castles for a long time, those everyone knows about? As I said, a ghost might get stuck for a long time only if a certain ritual has been performed, tying a person to the earth. Why do we usually meet ghosts in some ancient places, in castles, that seem to grow out of the ground, as the saying goes? Or in certain structures where people live, where they grow roots, roots that, let's say, grow deep tightly? Why don't we meet ghosts in the woods, in the desert? Because there are no reasons to put down roots there. Whereas there is a reason to take root in such structures. In the past, when castles were being constructed, or even now when large monolithic ancestral structures are built, aware families and kins would make the process go through a ritual of sacrifice. Back in the days, the offering was always a human sacrifice. Now, it is animal sacrifices, such as killing a rooster, a dog, or a sheep, and placing it under the threshold. This is still considered to be normal in pagan practices. It is believed that the one who was sacrificed is tied to the place or moment for which he was sacrificed. And he becomes a kind of consciousness extracted from the common informational space that performs a guardian function of this very place. This is how a dog becomes the guardian of a house, how the sacrificed animal becomes the guardian of the house, whereas in the past it was always a human sacrifice. There were completely different rituals in different cities and different countries. For example, the first woman who would pass the road after dark, or the first who would cross the court gate, will be sacrificed. There were a huge amount of rituals. And after such a ritual, a person becomes the spirit of a castle for eternity. No one would remove him from this space. No one could claim rights to own him, and he is tied to the castle. We know plenty of stories when improperly buried or unburied bodies, which were simply laid to rest, hidden, or stuffed into the wall, and would become tied to these walls. And we all know stories, legendary stories that say about the spirits, the ghosts, who ask to be reburied according to a certain ritual, so that they could break away from this place. I've just explained why. That is, the person must be buried according to the Christian rite, and a certain ritual must be performed to open a light channel and allow the soul to leave through it. The soul is attached to its own bones. It happens that a person was very attached to his own home, to such an extent that would lead him to perform some kind of rites of black magic nature, or take some vows of that same black magic type. And the rituals of black magic nature are always connected with calling on the entities related to the space of Earth. The chthonic deities, that is, directly to the mother goddess herself. Her word is always law. Not for nothing, it was considered that true power could be gained only through a ritual marriage with the earth. It gave the ruler the right to power. So, all the rituals performed using these forces, energies and words that invoke chthonic entities similarly relocate you from the informational world of light to the informational world of dark and you become tied to a certain place, to a certain earth, to a certain space, and you cannot leave this space, therefore you cannot reincarnate because the chthonic force itself doesn't imply reincarnation, meaning continual rebirth, it just implies a different form of existence. A ghost doesn't consider itself dead, it just behaves differently, it just lives differently. Have you seen the movie The Others with Nicole Kidman? 
то ли иные, то ли другие. It shows very well the condition of people who died, but they didn't know that and continued to go about their daily lives. Instead, living people are perceived by them as entities that are slightly different. It's just that their timeline changes vector, and they simply live according to a different time. For them, we and our physical bodies might look just the same way. A wall with monolithic beings like sculptures might look to us. This depends on the timeline they are living in. Generally, the presence of ghosts in a certain place is a consequence of the fact that black magic or a chthonic ritual has been performed on or by the person who has become a ghost, a ritual invoking a certain kind of force that has provided this consciousness with an inability to leave this earth, an inability to leave this world, and established this right for the person. This is how it usually happens.